Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Calls for Omarosa to be prosecuted after release of new secret recording not of Trump. In an utterly classless move that fans of The Apprentice learned to expect from the likes of Omarosa Manigault Newman, the former White House aide appeared on NBC's Meet the Press with Chuck Todd. While peddling her new book, Unhinged, she released a secret recording of White House Chief of Staff John Kelly firing her, citing integrity issues. The release of this recording came just two days after Manigault Newman was caught in a blatant lie about whether she heard President Trump the N-word. Omarosa was abruptly fired in December from her position as Director of Communications for the Office of Public Liaison. The Wall Street Journal reported that upon her firing, Manigault Newman had to be physically dragged and escorted off the campus. Many immediately noted the shocking breach of every known security protocol revealed by Manigault Newman of her own actions when she revealed she recorded Kelly in the Situation Room. The Situation Room is known as a Sephora Sensitive Compartmented Information Facility. This is a room in which all personnel is supposed to be required to surrender any and all recording, photographic and any other electronic media devices. As noted by NBC News Tash. The most famous SIF is probably the White House Situation Room, where presidents have deliberated the country's most important military and foreign policy decisions. Adding that, the Office of the Director National Intelligence lays out strict guidelines for the technical aspects and security of the SIF. That includes everything from the requirements for what the doors and windows should be made of to guidelines for armed guards and instructions on destroying temporary SIFs. Every effort should be made to minimize or eliminate windows in the SIF, especially on the ground floor, the manual reads. The facility must also provide acoustic protection. If soundproof walling is not an option, the DNI says speakers can be used to distribute noise to mask the conversations inside the SIF. Former White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer referred to Manigault Newman's taping as a massive violation of every security protocol. Spicer appeared on Fox News Sunday stating, she taped the chief of staff for the White House in the Situation Room, clearly a violation of every security protocol that she signed when she applied for a security clearance. The Hill reports dash. A number of lawyers in the national security community and journalists were quick to point out that the recording should not have happened given electronics are not allowed to enter the Situation Room. Trump's former legislative director Mark Short said on ABC Sunday that the recording was quite an affront. Manigault Newman released part of the 22nd tape Sunday on NBC's Meet the Press. The tape, she said, was of Kelly firing her from her role as a White House aide in December. On the tape, Kelly can be heard saying that Manigault Newman can move on without any type of difficulty related to her reputation if we make this a friendly departure. The former White House aide later described Kelly's comments as very obviously a threat. Spicer said Sunday that Kelly treated Manigault Newman with respect by giving her an opportunity to walk away with her dignity and respect. And how she pays it back as she brings a personal recording device into the Situation Room in the White House, he said. That should be the story right now. Spicer also accused Manigault Newman of making up false claims in her book, calling it complete opportunism and completely false. Manigault Newman began her book tour this week for Unhinged, an insider account of the Trump White House, amid a flurry of explosive claims about her time in the White House. In her book, Manigault Newman writes that Kelly fired her when he knew she was close to getting the audio of Trump using a racial slur. President Trump on Saturday referred to Manigault Newman as a lowlife following a number of other incendiary claims stemming from the book. White House staff also slammed the former aide as a disgruntled former White House employee who is trying to profit off of these false attacks. Adding even further insult, Manigault Newman stated on Monday that she absolutely has more tapes but claims she does not know when she will release them. The Hill reports, she said she is holding off on releasing them for now because she believes the White House could take legal action against her. They've been threatening legal action, she said on NBC's Val Sheehan Rule, apparently referring to the White House. They're trying to figure out how to stop me. They're trying to penalize me because I would not accept the $15,000 a month deal that they offered me for the fake job on the Trump campaign. So I'm expecting that they're going to retaliate, she continued. And so, I'm just going to stand back and wait. Many are already calling for Manigault Newman to be thrown in jail. Alana Mastrangelo noted on Twitter, So I guess leftists are right about one thing, an official from the Trump White House could actually go to jail, Omarosa for violating White House security protocol. Others wonder just exactly what else Manigault Newman recorded without the knowledge of the Trump administration. One thing is abundantly clear as the American people clamor ever louder to lock her up. 
the Trump administration is well rid of Manigault Newman and the potential threat to national security that she clearly poses. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.